Hey everybody, Hitman here with another video for you. Today I'll be doing something different. Uh, I'll be doing a how-to video. As some of you may or may not know, I have a live gaming live stream channel over at twitch.tv. Uh, there I got a lot of questions like, how do you live stream? What do you use? What what um, hardware do you have? How do you use XSplit? All these questions. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick video on how I live stream to Twitch using XSplit. So first thing you're going to want to ask yourself is what kind of internet do you have? Uh, they say that you need at least one megabit per second, but um, in my case I have two megabit per second um, and that's more than enough for HD 720p live streaming and you don't get any lag or choppy frames or anything like that. Uh, so if you have that then the next thing is you need to have a pretty decent PC. Um, I have a pretty high quality PC so I don't have any problems but you definitely want at least a decent PC uh, to run everything that you're going to be wanting to live stream. Uh, once you have those two requirements, uh, next is a capture card. I have three. Um, my first one was the HD PVR, the HPOG, uh, I did a component, 1080i. Uh, then I, I graduated to the Blackmagic uh, product line, the Intensity Pro, and the Intensity Shuttle. The Shuttle is a three point, USB 3.0. Um, the Intensity Pro is a PCI card and the HPOG is a USB 2.0 device. Um, I personally like the Black Magics. They're high quality. They both do 1080p and HDMI, but the HPOG was pretty easy to use, plug and play, no problems compared to the Black Magics. So once you have that, uh, go to expert.com and download the software that they have. Right at the bottom, just download and install. Uh, once you have that up and running, install it and open it. And this is how XBit looks like. You have your scenes here at the bottom right corner where you can move from scene to scene. And in this area here is the layers list where you'll be putting, uh, adding stuff to your scenes. So first thing you're gonna wanna play around with is resolution. Um, I have mine set to 720p. There's 1080p as well. It, this all really depends on your upload and PC capabilities. If your PC can handle outputting at 1080p and you have really, really, really good internet, uh, do 1080p. Uh, I'm just going to do mine at 720p because I know my PC can do that and my upload also matches that. If you don't have a resolution here that uh, you can't use, just go to edit resolutions and there's more there. Next is frame rates. I have mine set at 30 because I have a pretty good PC and again, the upload's decent. Uh, next is viewport. Uh, when you're live streaming, you want to usually lower it to so you're not using so much PCU usage. Uh, I usually set mine to 60 during a live stream, but for this, I'll just use 100%. Uh, next is starting up a channel that you're going to be live streaming to. Uh, go broadcast, edit channels. Here you're going to go add and then select which one you want to use. In our case, we'll use Twitch, Justin TV here. Click on that and you'll get this screen. Put your username, password, your channel information auto auto populate. Choose the server that you want. I'm in Toronto, so I'm going to use East Coast Ashburn. You could also use New York. If you're in LA, you would use one of the LA servers. Next is the video coding section. Um, leave this on default. Uh, quality depending on the PC that you have. I have a good PC, so I'll go with 10. Um, here's the upload thing. I have two megabit per second, so that should give me 2000 bit rate. But I wanna give myself some leeway while I'm live streaming so I don't get any lag while playing. So I'll set mine at about 1600. Uh, leave the resolution because you've already changed it up at the top. Audio, you want to switch it to 4410 16-bit stereo. And the bit rate you want either 96,000 or 128,000 because that's usually about MP3 quality. You don't want CD quality because people aren't coming to your gaming channel to listen to CD quality audio. They really care more about the video. So leave it at a lower setting to save you some bandwidth and CPU usage. Um, if you want to automatically record a file to your computer while you're live streaming, you can check that off here. 
that's how you add a Justin TV account if you are have bad uh, broadcasting rights to another channel like in my case I have broadcasting rights to too old to play .com's channel I live stream on their channel every once in a while and um, if you want to add broadcasting rights to a channel go add custom RTMP and then this will pop up with the name of the channel description uh, you need to find out what server uh, you're going to be going on if you go to Google and type in Twitch TV servers the first posting will pop up here is a list of all the uh, Twitch servers that you can use uh, I'm in Ashburn as we saw earlier so this is the one I'll be using if I'm in Los Angeles I would use this one as an example copy that paste it in there the stream key that you get from Justin uh, from the broadcaster is giving you rights you paste that in there any other information user agent you want to leave that blank uh, video coding again do what you want quality wise and bitrate wise same with audio check off anything you might want that's how you do broadcasting rights to another channel and then local recording um, go add local recording this will record straight to the hard drive and it's the same deal said what what quality you want what bitrate audio what file type you want to spit it out I think default FLV I'm gonna go with mp4 because it's easier to edit with and that's how you set up uh, live streaming accounts to it uh, announce is a pretty good feature if you want to announce onto uh, Twitter Facebook or twitch um, select it and then it'll give you an option where do you want to tell people about your live stream uh, once you've set all that up then you want to start adding stuff to your scenes so at the bottom here I'm gonna go with add camera so I'm gonna add my first Xbox there it is if you press one on the keyboard it will go full screen so there we go if I want to change the resolution of this or the audio or, or anything to do with this capture just right click and it'll give you all the options uh, keep aspect ratio uh, any cropping you may need to do color uh, here's where you configure the device so you can change resolution or audio stuff like that so we'll call this Xbox one go to another scene and I'll add my second Xbox there we go call this Xbox two and in some cases I'll do a dual uh, stream so I'll show you how I do a dual stream here you gotta add both add a camera add the second one there we go um, now in my case I like to add a lot of like pictures and stuff on onto the screen um, I'll show you how I do that you can go add you can add a web camera a picture uh, screen region uh, like a certain area of the screen that you want to capture uh, IP camera a game maybe like Diablo 3 uh, video playlist you can play multiple videos at, as one back to back uh, a title like tonight on the live stream come up on the screen as text uh, another live stream that may be happening or image slideshow so right now I'm gonna add a media file I'm gonna add some some of the nameplates that I use. In this case, I'll use this one. It's a PNG file, and to shrink it to size, I can move it around to wherever I want. I want it in the bottom left corner. Then I'm going to want to add a camera of myself. Hey, what's up? Move that into place. Set it up whatever way I want. Then I might want to add, like, let's say the Xbox logo. Or, there we go, Xbox logo. Or, how about the game I'm going to play? Uh, we're playing Battlefield. Or, how about the tool to play logo? there we go and that's how I set up my one screen I would do that again on the second screen here this would be if uh, 
I had a buddy over, like maybe uh, my buddy Batman Burns. He usually comes over and we live stream every once in a while. So I'll put him right here. Uh, you can add multiple web cameras, multiple devices. It's a pretty cool fe uh, feature that Xplit uses. So right now, here's the second cam. Terrell usually be sitting there in the middle. And I would add the other pictures like I would on this one. Um, for the dual, basically the same thing. Just, you know, add the, the files and the cameras. Now everything here is in a layered, so I can like move it, move stuff around if I want. So right now it's not overlapping. See right now the camera is on top. If I were to move this down, it would be below. Like that, the other camera. And maybe I'll add the tool to play logo. Um, Cause that's usually how I have it set up. So there we go. That's usually how I have it set up. Uh, next time I want to do a scene where it's uh, my video intros. So my own and um, tool to play. I would go to add video playlist, select the videos that I want. So my, my intro and then the tool to play intro. Okay, and then there we go. It'll do the video. Press one for full screen. And I'll play both videos uh, back to back. Like a wallpaper. Maybe I'll add the Battlefield logo. Here we go. And then if I want to add like a title, I'll put Clan Knight. Adjust that to size. You know, you can do multiple things. Once you have everything all set up, then you want to go to you're ready to go just hit broadcast to the channel that you want I can do a local recording or I can do straight to twitch if you hit twitch it'll start going and boom it's streaming now up in the corner here it tells you how many frames are being encoded and how many are being dropped if you have a slow uh, upload speed you'll notice it here in the upload if you have drop frames your upload speed is not good enough so once you're done, click it off, and then it's done. If you set it to have a file, it'll put a file on your computer. Um, down here is the microphone. If you have a microphone, you can play around with the settings. Whenever anyone talks, it comes up. Same with here. Here's the game audio sound. You can play around with it to whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions you can follow me at twitter at i6hitman or you can watch my gaming live stream channel over at twitch.tv forward slash i6hitman or over at tool to play's twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash too old to play and i'll see you guys around